what's up guys i got a special delivery today let's uh see what we got Okay guys, so before I install the extra 32 gigabytes of memory, I want to compare what my Lumion 10.5 uh, is rendering at now and what it will render at speed wise after I install this extra 32 gigabytes making it 64. So here if I go to my computer, uh, the benchmarks for Lumion, you can see that the NVIDIA GeForce uh, GTX 1080 Ti is the graphics card I have. Graphics memory 11.2, processor is the Intel Core i7 8700K, uh, 3.7 gigahertz, and currently it has 32 gigabytes of memory. So let's compare what a current um, a current scene will render at speed wise, and then we'll compare it again after I install it with the extra 32, making it um, a total of 64 gigabytes of memory. So here I'm just going to show you one scene here. Uh, here I just have a little scene of just zooming in here. And if I were to render this clip right now under my current settings, we'll leave it at 30 frames per second at full HD. And I'll just, uh, we'll just call it a test here. Uh, I think I misspelled test, but uh, okay. So here we'll see how long it's going to take us to render this scene. And it's not a big scene. Let's give it a few minutes just to get an average feel. And so it's looking about 24 minutes, 20 minutes, more or less. So will more RAM make that time less? So let's find out after I install the RAM. Okay guys, so this is my PC and this is where the two slots are gonna go. The DDR4 right there, I have two empty slots. And here's the ballistic 32 gigabytes of RAM we're gonna put in there. And let's just hope everything fits nicely. All right, so there you can see I got them both locked into position there. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the power and see if these things light up, or I believe I may have to download some software before all that happens, but we'll check it out right now. All right guys, I got them installed and there they are looking pretty good, lighting up pretty well and just need to know if they're registering on the computer and will it really improve my rendering times okay guys so first let's check out the system to make sure that the ram is being recognized and here if i go to there you go total physical memory 64 installed physical memory ram 64 gigabytes so that was successful and this is just plug and play and nothing to worry about and one thing i also want to do is i want to download the software for this uh, to control the rgb factor so i'm going to go ahead and click download now for that and we'll go ahead and run the setup i'm just going to double click on it and my pc is actually preventing it but just click more info here and say run anyway all right so let's go ahead and open up that mod app and we will go ahead and go to the LED control and here you can see that you can change quite a bit of it here you go to module and you can pick which uh, which um, RAM card you want to change or you can sync them all together at the same time and here you have the different patterns that you can do so if we go here to gradient shift you can see how it just changes and over here you can change the colors that you want it displayed uh, so pretty cool and then you can also mix and match and create your own colors um, you kind of go around the wheel here or you can actually go over here and just mix it up pretty well so if you just want to make your own color I guess you could do that and we just go through some of these other different looks. Uh, here's a stack. And we can also change the speed. So if you want to go faster or slower, there's the double stack. 
And let's make it a cooler color there. And let's see what's going on. It looks like we're only changing one. There we go. Let's pick a just a regular color. And we can slow it down a bit so you kind of see what's happening. It's a double stack. Here's the breathing motion points inside out color step and there it's actually breaking uh, toggling between some colors we could change the speed of that and there it actually looks like they're switching a little bit so that's pretty cool all right let's go to water wave try to speed it up let's go to flashing and static which I'm not sure what statics doing um, let's leave it on breathing I kind of like that one and we'll change the speed of it and let's get a color here let's go with this blue and we'll slow it down just slightly there we go and another cool thing that we can do over here in the mod side is right now we're in standard mode if we go to advanced we can actually break down the sections here and so there, your card is actually broken into different zones so let's say we go to zone two and let's change that to a blue and let's see if we can see that in our card not yet let's try a different zone let's go to zone three and let's see if we can slow, slow it down a bit we can kind of notice or change the uh, Okay, we go to breathing. So it kind of limits the amount of patterns you can do when you change that. So let's just start picking some different colors for our zones. There we go, making it look all crazy. And you can also change the brightness of it. So if we want them to look a little bit less bright, we can bring that down. And let's change it back to standard. And then let's go back to the brightness. Looks like there's a little bit of a delay there. Not sure what's going on. Bring that brightness back up. There it is. Oh, that's quite a lot brighter. And here it also has a temperature. You can take ch um, check the temperature of each card, I guess. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so now let's see how it performs with Lumion and if it actually helps to increase the speed of our rendering. Okay, so I'm going to open up the same file that I had before. Um, before I do that, let's go to your computer speed. And there we see, boom, it is recognizing the 64 gigabytes of memory. We are maxed out on everything, so I like that. But will it help it to increase the rendering speed, or is that going to be uh, something that will need to happen in the graphics card itself? Do I need to upgrade the, upgrade the graphics card? So I'll check that out here in a minute. Okay, so here is the same scene that I showed you when I only had 32 gigabytes of RAM installed. So I'm going to go here to uh, render settings for my video. Make sure I'm in the right one. Let's go for video. And I'm just going to render this first clip. And I'm going to leave it the same settings 30 frames per second, full HD. We'll just save over that. And we'll see how long it takes to render this scene. Um, I believe the other one was about the same. It was about 20 minutes. Uh, here it looks like it's dipping a little bit below that, but it keeps going back and forth. Um, so it's a little hard to say. Maybe there's a little bit of increase in speed, but it's very minimal it looks like. So overall, do I think the RAM helped to increase the render speed? Um, it doesn't look like it's helping very much. So. We may have to upgrade the graphics card 
and uh, processor possibly to increase those speeds but either way I got the max uh, RAM for this computer okay guys that concludes this video review of the crucial ballistics gaming memory cards and also whether it will increase your render speeds with Lumion and unfortunately I think if there is any increase it is very minimal so really if you want to invest money I would recommend upgrading your video card as always if you like this video hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you like content like this and I will see you next time thanks